Hey guys, Jojo here today on Roblox. We're playing some more Project Pokemon, as you can see on screen right now. Today, we're going to be looking at Kyogre. So obviously, last week we did Groudon, which... <coughs> oh my gosh, I think I've got hiccups. Which, in my opinion, is the worst of the three. At least for the, um, not the Primals. I'm not really sure how good Primal Groudon actually is. But we're going to be looking at the new Aura Kyogre, which obviously has the Aura Abyssus, or Abyssal. No, Abyss. Ab yeah, Abyss. Uh, which, I think the only thing that changed was the blue changed to a... Like a charcoal black, charcoal grey sort of thing. But the stats we want, we want to... Oh, oh, we have a modest nature. Uh, we have Thunderbolt, Carmines, Blizzards, and Origin Pulse. Obviously, since we're kind of tanky, we can take... We can take it, and then we have the... We can take the risk to uh, miss a few moves. Hell Dyson, we're going to give it a Leftovers. And also, really quickly, because I'm going to show you the EVs as well, which uh, if we talk to the NPC really quickly, that um, base stats really high. I would suggest, if you don't like the specific set, try HP defense with Calm Minds, because then you're a tank all around and can hit pretty hard. Uh, IVs are maxed out, like I said, pretty quick to be honest for a tank. Uh, EVs, I've gone for uh, HP and special attack, because in Project Pokemon it is pretty difficult to tr set up against certain Pokemon like Mewtwo's. So obviously, the best thing I can do is to just make, give it special attack straight away and try and just deal with Mewtwo's instantly. Although I wouldn't really suggest leaving Kyogre out against a Mewtwo, I'd try and swap out to something else if possible. Anyway, I just teleported to the exact same location that I was already at. No, we want to go to... Saffron real quickly, so I'll quickly show you on where to EV train if you don't know how to EV train yet, which uh, most people should, but just for the people that don't know yet. Do I have any leftovers on me? I don't. I need to go get one out soon. I was though when you come over to the Saffron so you can go to this bot, you can type in ISO underscore HP for obviously the HP bot, so obviously enter that. That'll give you the HP bot. Make sure to use the stat resets. Um, on the, the Pokemon that you want to EV train, as, uh, for example, this is for Kyogre. But this guy is seven times with no items. Or if, no, I think it's fourteen times with no items. Seven if you have um, a little um, power item for it, or three if you have the power item and the Poke Booster. But now for special attack, obviously we want this code or username. I guess you should probably call it. And then for the defense, since uh, some I just suggested you maybe using the HP defense set, this is probably the um, bot that you want to use. Anyway, that's that done. We're going to quickly make a team, and then I guess we'll try a few battles, see how well it goes. So I think we, I think actually the team's already built. I think we're going to use this specific team. We're, we're just going to bring Beedrill, since um, Beedrill's really, really good against Mewtwo's, just something to take them down really quickly with. Oh, we do need a leftovers, which I'm not sure if I have any left. Oh wait, you have one. Give me that. There we go. Okay, then let's go. Who wants to a battle? Might as well battle a few people real quickly in servers. I'm in the Discord's VIP 1 server. Okay, I guess we'll battle Zap first, so get him on the field. Okay, he's currently busy. Okay, I guess I'll try someone else. There we go. Okay, I guess we've got Elements 235 first, if he accepts. Like I said, I don't even think this guy was one of, them, one of the guys that wanted to battle. I'll just say kind of send him a random request. Okay, I guess I'll... Okay, I don't actually have a look see who wanted to battle. Mirrors. Where's Mirrors? Oh, this guy. Okay, I guess we'll battle this guy first, and since uh, he has the battle request on... Okay, is he gonna... Accept? Okay, there we go. Okay, he has... Okay, this is an interesting team. He has probably Mega Metagross, to be honest, or Mega Alkazam, obviously. That is a weird aura. Okay, he's got a Stami, Bishop, um, Kabutops, and a Tyrantra. And let's start off with the Kyogre. It should be okay. We have the Thunderbolt on it as well to do... Oh, and he can give... I don't think I gave the Kyogre leftovers. Which should be okay. I mean, it's a bit tanky enough, I guess. Okay, there's the Tyrantrum. Um, just going for the Origin Pulse. It should be able to one-hit KO it. Ice Fang, we're a water type, so I'm not sure why you'd use an Ice type against us, but okay. Origin Pulse, just going to one-hit KO it. Damn. So yeah, right now, it is kind of risky, because uh, Kyogre's only one move that doesn't have low accuracy is Thunderbolt. 
which also I'm going to use in this situation. Actually, I think this is going to Thunderbolt me back or Energy Ball me. Energy Ball. Which I think most Stamis runs Thunderbolt. Not really sure why you put... Oh, it's a Life Orb set. That's interesting, kinda. But you're taking down the uh, Stamis. Also, the Stamis and the uh, <laughs> Tyrantrums apparently have no chance. For the Metagross, we should potentially take out the Metagross, but since we don't have leftovers, we're not healing up anything, so kinda made a mistake on that. Metagross, let's see if we can tank a hit actually. I guess we'll have to uh, Orange Impulse it, I don't have anything else to use against it. But yeah, our physical defense is a lot lower than our special defense, obviously, so we've got to take that into account, so we might actually get taken out right here. Turn off shot real quick, wait, what? So if your load point is determined by the last Pokemon center you use. Oh, I wonder if that added into the game. Oh, it has Thunder Punch, okay. That kind of makes sense. I wonder if we could live a hit from a Thunder Punch on full HP low. Kind of want to try that. Um, I think the Gengar has the same base speeds. Might as well try it, I guess, to just take it down. Just Shadow Ball it. Not sure why I have Destiny Bond on this Gengar set, but apparently I do. For some reason. Okay, we are Speds. And that's going to one-hit KO that. Alakazam also outspeeds us if Izzy V train since uh, Alakazam is one of the OG counters to a Gengar. Just because it outspeeds it plus the Psychic Stab, there's no way Gengar can outspeed you. So Shadow Ball, I guess we'll see if he has an EV trained on he has, which he has an EV trained, so we're just going to take him down. So I'll take that. Uh, next Pokemon probably will be the um, the Bishop, Bisharp, which I think I might just Destiny Bond that one to be honest. <laughs> just get it out of here. Unless it goes for a Sucker Punch, which I'm not sure if that's implemented into this game yet, but I'm just going to Destiny Bond. He should probably hit me like a Dark type over a nice, yeah, Night Slash, maybe. Destiny Bond, okay, there's that. And he's going to go for the Night Slash, predicted that. It's going to one-hit KO me. Also going to one-hit KO his Bishop, which is nice. So yeah, I'm actually not sure what happens if you have a Des if you use Destiny or not, and the Pokemon with Focus Dash hits you. I think it just gets KO'd instantly, I don't think it actually survives. But anyway, now into the B drill, I guess. Actually, probably the Scizor would be a lot better, but B drill is we can just Mega Drill Run, I guess. I haven't used. I actually, I think I used B drill last week with my Kyogre, but oh well, I guess. I'm just gonna go for that. Uh, I think we should live at Aqua Jet if he hits us with one, but oh well. Okay, but I need to give it the leftovers after this because I completely forgot. Let's go see how well I actually can do against certain Pokemon. So I need to try and test it out against like a Dark Rider Mewtwo. See how well we can hit or take a hit from Lowe's. Because also Mewtwo can get Thunderbolt and Energy Ball. Usually people run like RSB on, on Carmine instead of them. Uh, but still, Side Strike, I want to try that out since obviously Kyogre has low defense compared to special defense. So just got to try out that. So anyway, going to Mega Evolve, get that Drill Run off. Not sure if it'll one-hit KO it. I want to say it probably won't since it's not a, since it's not a stab move. I don't get the adaptability increase. Gonna be a two hit KO, which is okay. Rock Slide is just gonna destroy you, so since we're four times weak to that, I actually know where. No, I think we're only two times weak to that. But we have really low defenses. But now into the Scizor, should be able to one hit KO this with a Bullet Punch. Where is it? There we go. Okay, that should be this down. And then I guess we'll try and find someone else with maybe a Mewtwo Aqua Jet. I'm gonna tank that. Because that was a critical hit, okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, take that down. Okay, let's see if anyone has a Mewtwo. Because I want to see what a Mewtwo and a Darkrai can do to us. Give him the GG. Does anyone have a Mewtwo? Let's see if anyone has a Mewtwo that we can try this on. Leftovers onto the Kyogre. Maybe, actually, maybe a, a Life Orb might be better. Okay, Brighton. Okay, let's have a look, see what he has. Okay, get your Mewtwo. Okay, let's, oh wait, maybe apparently Chris has one as well. Want to battle against one? Oh wait, no, wait, no. Uh, cancel. Does he have the Mewtwo? Okay, does. Okay, let's try and battle against him. Plus, he has a Dark Cry as well, so we can always battle this guy. So Chris. Um, K okay, Chris, turn on battles. Okay, there we go. Use Mewtwo first, please. 
Wait, I want to try out a Mewtwo against a Kyogre. Not sure if it's EV trained. Is your Mewtwo EV trained? I'm gonna guess maybe since he is a since he has beaten the Elite Four. Plus, we can try out the Dark Cry. The because we should be able to one hit it with Blizzard or just an Ice Beam to be honest. Okay, uh, not sure if it's EV trained, but I think to for the most damage, we should probably Origin Pulse it since that's gonna get stabbed unless we miss, which kind of would suck. Okay, it's not EV trained much, but we can see how much damage we can do. He's gonna calm mind. No, I meant for you to just attack. Okay, I'll be back in a second because I'm trying to get this thing out. Okay, and we're back. Let me just hold on real quick. Use Psy Strike. Because I want to see how much Psy Strike does to us since it is a stab move, plus every single Mewtwo should be running Psy Strike. But well, I guess we'll see. Anyway, Origin Pulse. I think the first time I know it, I think my Origin Pulse missed, which kind of sucks. There's a Psy Strike. Around half HP, which is okay. Origin Pulse is gonna... Okay, so in this situation, Mewtwo outspeeds us, but it doesn't seem to be do enough damage. So let's go try out a... Let's go... Okay, I'm gonna Thunderbolt it just to make sure I don't miss. Okay, Psy Strike. Is it gonna KO? Okay, so we we can beat Mewtwo apparently, but then again, this Mewtwo isn't EV trained, so... Apparently, Kyo can take it out a Mewtwo if it isn't EV trained, but I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna try a damage calculator. See actually who would win in that situation if both of them was EV trained. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, and we're back then. So now we have a Val, a Val Cry, which is gonna try out his Dark Cry against us. And I'm gonna go into Dark Pulse, see how much damage that does. I'll also try out the damage calculation after this. But I checked out Mewtwo vs Kyogre. So obviously, in the main games, Kyogre has Drizzle, which in Project Pokemon doesn't have Drizzle, which is a huge downside to Kyogre. Reason why is I'll quickly get into this. Energy Ball and Thunderbolt do the exact same damage since they don't get stabbed, they have the exact same power. So, they're gonna, I think they're gonna do like 49% damage to Kyogre, EV trained HP, special defense with Modest, with a fully EV trained Mewtwo with Timid Nature. So that means you're gonna live 2 hits of those with the leftovers recovery. Psy Strike can do 50 to 51% damage, but because of the leftovers it's still a 3 hit KO, 80% chance to 2 hit KO if you get lucky. So, Technically, Kyogre can win in that situation so he can just 2 hit KO with Origin Pulse. However, because there is no rain in Project Pokemon, it kind of sucks for Kyogre because Origin Pulse gets a... Um, oh, we did a pretty good amount of damage right there. I'm going to just Thunderbolt it at this time, but... Origin Pulse in rain can 1 hit KO a Mewtwo. That is EV Train, Speed, Special Attack, and then Timid. So... Yeah, um, Kyogre can one hit KO with Mewtwo, so unfortunately the rain isn't added in, so maybe, maybe Kyogre just needs a little bit of buff. Maybe for, po maybe for moves that I don't, uh, that, oh wait, that's a Thunderbolt. Okay, that's fun so it looks like Dark Resident isn't even enough to take down a Kyogre, because that's a super effective move, that's a Thunderbolt. Which doesn't even do half, so yeah, Dark Ride just doesn't stand a chance anyway, but I'll quickly again try out the the uh, damage calculation just to like make sure that nothing's wrong about that because also sometimes Project Pokemon's just like a mess for the for battles to be honest. Okay you can use whatever. Okay let's just try and do the battle then. So I'll try and do the battle at the same time while getting this out so I'm gonna quickly blizzard this, Kyogre, blank set, EV train it, HP and special attack, give it a modest nature, give it Origin, did we just, we just one hit the kill that, wow. Origin Pulse with Blizzard and Thunderbolt. I'm not sure if there's a better move than Thunderbolt, but I'm going to use that against a Darkrai. Let's give it a Timid Nature, since I think most people run Timids. EV Training, Special Attack and Speeds. Against a Clef Key, Origin Pulse again. Uh, bad dreams. Okay, let's give it a dark pulse. Dark pulse. Okay, dark pulse does like 25 to 30 percent damage. Thunderbolt does 37 to 45 percent damage, and then energy ball should do like the exact same. Yeah, energy ball does the exact same. So it looks like dark cry has no chance against the Kyogre. So to be honest, Kyogre is pretty good to use. Use it apparently. Apparently. On any team, unfortunately, though, like I said, the um, the rain isn't counted in for Project Pokemon, which since it isn't, you can't one hit KO most Pokemon. If it was in the game, Origin Pulse gets like I'm not sure if it's like a fifty percent. I don't think it's a fifty percent chance. I think it's like a thirty three percent chance increase, which 
can one hit kill Mewtwo, so it's kind of quite unfortunate that we don't actually get that ability to one hit kill Mewtwo's with Kyogre. But then again, if even if we did, we'd pretty be a little overpowered since it's not like I said, Kyogre can one hit KO most other legendaries in the main games. For for example, like for Groud for normal Groud, not primal, normal Groudon, I think Bl Origin Pulse can one hit KO it, obviously with stab on top of it. Uh, Rayquaza, Ice Beam or Blizzard. Blizzard's a little bit more powerful but has a chance to miss, obviously. We've got Mewtwo, I can one hit kill that, I just did it. Um, I, I, did, I tested it in the showdown. Um, well, so I'll just forfeited. GG. Anyway, let's find. Let's actually find an actual battle now to try and see how well we can do against an actual battle. Okay, who wants to battle? But, yeah, I mean, there's a ton of Pokemon that Kyogre just one hit kills. And because Kyogre's only a water type, it's only like a weak to two things, so it's very difficult to just one hit KO it straight up unless you have a really good electric type Pokemon. So, yeah, but anyway, I'll be back in a second and we'll start doing some actual battles now. Okay, Len, and we're back now, so for the battle, or actually, I don't think this is the first battle, I think we already did a battle, but I'm battling Zap Gladi Ator using a Raptor, Bacon, Error, Paper, Chuckle, and Flying Fish. That is a lot of Pokemon. But we're going to start off with the Kyogre, obviously. I wonder if the, um, I don't remember the exact name of the, what, the uh, electric Pokemon he has. Hel Hel Heliolisk? Helioptile? No, I think this is Heliolisk. I'm not sure if I can one-hit KOs, which would be interesting to find out. Anyway, against a sh Chuckle, which is Shuckle, I'm going to Calm Minds. I guess, I mean, if I can get enough Calm Minds off, I can one-hit KO everything, and then we're good. And again, we don't even need Calm Minds for EV training, um... Special attack to be honest, because 150 base special attack is really, really good. We can already one hit kill most Pokemon, so I mean, sure. Anyway, um, I wonder if he's gonna swap out or not. Let's go for that 100% Thunderbolt just to like get a bit of damage off. I'm confused, obviously. Thunderbolt is not gonna be enough to one hit KO. Wait. Oh, it's, gonna, it's a double team Shuckle. Okay, interesting. If you want to max out my attack, then sure. To have not physical attack alone. Anyway, let's go for a few calm mines. Obviously, he's just gonna go for the um, a calm mine. Not hit myself yet, so that's always great. So, uh, obviously, this looks like he's just gonna go for the double teams, which I guess is a scummy tactic, <laughs> but we we'll, we'll should be able to one hit kill after a few calm mines, because I don't think Shuckle can't do a lot of damage to me if I start calm minding. Also, I think it's a physical attacker, oh, as most people use it. So, I guess we'll see. No Stealth Rocks are in the game yet, though, so not exactly the best choice to use a shuckle, but oh well. Three car mines. That should be enough. I think we broke out of confusion right now. Yep. Origin Pulse, just gonna hit it. I'm just gonna one hit out. Yeah, shuckle, don't care about your double teams <laughs> at all. <laughs> Get out of here. Anyway, that is the oh wait it lived. <clears throat> okay, let's try a Thunderball, because Origin Pulse also has a low accuracy. Thunderball hit <laughs> Okay, that's what you get, okay. <coughs> that is what you get. Okay, we're gonna send out next the Raptor, which is this thing. Um I guess Origin Pulse. I don't know exactly what to use against it. Thunderbolt, tank it, please. Hey, you're gonna tank it. So that was, that should do like, that should probably will be enough to like take it down to like two thirds of our HP left. Life offset. How there we go. Also Heliolus isn't that tanky, it's very quick and can hit very hard. Can't really take a hit low back, which I think my voice is going. Uh, <laughs> which obviously isn't a good thing. <clears throat> okay, poison and bug. Blizzard, it is. The scissor might be a bit of a pain. Oh, you know, sleep powder, fell asleep. Kind of forgot about the sleep powder thing. It's gonna start quiver dancing, which I guess is a bad thing, but oh well. We have uh, the Weavile just to ice shard it. I, I think we only have ice punch. Giga Drain. <coughs> Oh no, I, I need to take a drink. Anyway, we woke up after the first turn, Easy. <clears throat> and with the leftovers, also, for our special attackers, we're just filling up most of the HP that we get damaged anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Also, for the bacon, I'm not really sure why it's called bacon, but for the salmons, we can just blizzard it. Which actually, how long is this video? I'm going to see how many ba more battles I should do. Okay, for right now, this video is like 20 minutes long. I can go for a few more battles. Dragon Dancer, that's risky because you already know I got a Blizzard. I guess he went for the chance rate to miss, maybe. 
Well, the problem is Kyogre doesn't miss any moves ever, especially against a freaking Kyogre. I don't think I've missed one against this guy yet, which is kind of bad. <laughs> okay, there's a area which is a shiny Porygon Z, or Z, in the UK, obviously. Okay, Origin Pulse this. Nasty Plot. Why is he going for- why is he boosting it? I've already boosted so much. He needs to attack me because I'm just going to sweep him. I don't think he has any more Focus Ashes left. But yeah, he megged his Salamence, which isn't really, really good for the Kyogre, but... Kyogre sweep? I guess I'll take it. <clears throat> but yeah, my voice on my throat is just... For some reason, just giving up on me right now. Okay, Origin Pulse. That's really going to be enough just wanting to kill all of his Pokemon. So give him the GG. I guess we'll find our next victim for the Kyogre just to destroy, apparently, because it's so freaking strong. Like I said, Kyogre is one of the best legendaries, and th that's not that's not even my opinion. That's like fact. Like from when it was added in, in Generation Three, Kyogre could I believe hit one hit KO. I want to say 99% of legendary, a lot of legendaries, maybe every every single legendary. For now, for since there's four generations added after it, not sure how it stands up against the newer ones, but. The older generations, Kyogre I think was the, one of the, the strongest legendaries in the game. Which people say Primal Groudon, well I mean, if you send out Primal Kyogre first, or is it seconds? Then it obviously gets, just, just gets rid of the chance that Primal Kyogre can do anything, then can just one hit KO it, so... Not sure, but anyway, get on to the next battle. Okay, now we're back for another battle, now we're battling against Matt. 7777444 That's a Shadow Lugia, which obviously I know is EV trained So that's gonna be interesting. Oh, he also has a Kyogre. I wonder if it's EV trained. The battle against Kyogres, who will win? Mine has a um, Thunderball, so technically mine should, unless he has Thunderball as well, which hopefully not. Wait, wrong one? What do you mean wrong one? What do you mean wrong one? Why are you changing now? Did, I, did you bring the wrong Lugia? What did you... I'm actually curious, what did he bring that was wrong? Oh, oh wait, can, can I just spam click this? Oh, I can. Oh, he brought us. Oh, he's shot up the Lugia? Lugia, so another shiny Lugia, so I'm guessing this is the EV trained one. Lugia is just sweeping you around. Oh, apparently someone else has a Lugia. <laughs> apparently someone after this battle wants me to 1v1 the Lugia. I guess I'll use my Kyogre to see how well it does against it. Should be able to just 2 hit KO, I believe. Uh, so yeah, anyway, there's that. Start off with our Kyogre. I don't think we can one hit KO with Lugia to be honest, just straight off because Lugia is very tanky. 154 special defense. I know that off by heart now, to be honest, because I mean Lugia is one of the best tanks in the game. Uber. Just so good. Kaylin. There's a Deoxys. Wonder where it has. I guess we don't want to find out, so let's just origin pulse it. Psycho Boost, is that that does like 133 damage. But special attack actually fell. So Origin Pulse is enough to one hit KO, but the Focus Sash is intact. Okay, uh, the Kyogre, well, his, his uh, special attack got decreased by 50%. It's going to still KO us, so I'm going to swap out. It's going to probably Psycho Boost again, most likely. So we're going to go into the Weavile just to take it down really quickly. Or is it going to go for another move, which I hope it doesn't. Okay, what's it going to do now? Return the Deoxys attack. Okay, I could have just got another Leftovers, but apparently didn't want to do that. Here's a Lugia, uh, knock off it, probably got a leftovers, don't want to risk that at all, so knock off that leftovers right there. It's super effective, Lugia's item was knocked off. Oh, it doesn't tell you what the item was knocked off in this game? Oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, it tells you when the, um, the, not life orb. Oh no, it tells you life orb when you take damage from it, you take damage from the life orb after every turn, that you use a move, obviously. But it doesn't, and for the focus dash, it tells you when it's got knocked, well, or when it's being used, but... And the left of it tells you when you get HP, but why doesn't it tell you what item they're holding when you knock off it? Apparently, you, you don't, but I'm just gonna knock off it again. Not sure if it's the best idea to keep using knock off after you'd already knocked it off, but... Oh well. Because I think how knock off meant to work is it, I think it has like 20 base attack, or base power. But if I have an item, it's like an 80 base power move, or a 60 base power move, one of the other. So apparently it's meant to be better with, if they are holding an item. Not 100% sure on how true that is. Okay, we... Uh, let's just knock off. Miss! No! That's four times super effective right there. Kaylin, um... 
I guess I'll just go into my scissor and just bullet punch, to be honest. Oh, the Beej- actually, I think Beejol could have speed there, because this is the attack form, I believe, so anyway, just bullet punch it, just get it out of here. Take this thing down. The- I was gonna say, where's my Kyogre? I completely forgot that the chat blocked it. Um, Kyogre. We should be able to stop it- send it out against his, um, his Jirachi and Victini. Maybe the- actually, yeah, I think the, against the, um, actually, I don't know, maybe against all of them. Except from his Kyogre, obviously, that's a bad matchup. Um, I was gonna go for a fire type move. Should I just- I don't want to give up Kyogre right now- I mean my Scizor right now. I could potentially use it in the future for this battle, so just swap out. V crit, tank it! Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. Speed fell. Victini's special defense fell. Victini's defense fell. I wonder if I have speed it now. Probably not, to be honest, but let's give it a try. Alright. Come on, please our speeds. Oh, you still have speed- oh, quick attack. Tank! No! Damn it, Victina. Quick attack? Wow. Okay, we have Gengar, I guess. Obviously, since uh, Victina is a psychic type, we can just Shadow Ball it. If this swaps out, we should be able to do a ton of damage to any of the other ones, so Shadow Ball. Just be enough to one-hit KO it. Focus Ash? No Focus Ash on that, so that's nice. If it sends out the Kyogre, I might just Destiny Bond it, to be honest. I think that's a good idea. Sent out the Lapis, which is this thing. We can just sludge bomb it. We outspeed it. Uh, unless it actually it's a Mega Gadivar, which I think we still outspeed because it only has a hundred base speed. We have hundred and ten, which I always thought Gengar was faster than hundred and ten. To be honest, like back in the day. No, I'm I was apparently stupid. One hitting KO in the Mega Gadivar, shiny Mega Gadivar with the Aura, in fact, which is interesting. Okay, life holds doing a little bit more damage to me, which is okay. Uh, what's he gonna send out next? The Chara, which is the Victine, or not the Victine, the freaking Dracha, which I can just Shadow Ball it again. Not sure if this will one hit KO or not. It technically might, but... Mm, just no, just no, damn it. So close, but so far. Okay, Zen Headbutt's gonna one hit KO us, obviously. We can just go into... The Beedrill now, just to KO this, plus the uh, ton of damage onto the, um, pr not Primal. I want to keep calling it Primal uh, Kyogre, although it's just an Aura uh, Kyogre. Anyway, how many, how long is this video now? Like that. I think this is going to be the last battle for, for this video, so let's go for the Drill Run, just to make sure that we take this thing down. Okay, get the Mega Beedrill off, the Shiny Mega Beedrill even. Get this thing KO'd. And for the Kyogre, don't think we can one-hit KO it with a B drill, but we'll have to see. Drill run. Okay, there we go. That's gonna get KO'd. And then for the Kyogre. Wonder how much damage a Mega B drill can do to a Kyogre. No not sure if it's EV trend or not, but we always can see. So I think actually what what is the best damage we can do? What is the best damage that we can do? Because also we have the um the adaptabilities um Ability, adaptability ability. Oh my gosh, I just realized that is so confusing. Adaptability ability. Goddamn, no thanks. Okay, poison jab is eater. Bug is also eater, so I think just poison jab for the chance to poison as well. Okay, poison jab. Hopefully, it can one hit K with this. I would doubt it. But then again, Kyogre doesn't have the best defensive stats in the world. Uh, he did a good amount. Ice Beam? Okay, he's running an Ice Beam set rather than the Blizzard, which I'm running the Blizzards. And it's a Life Orb set, so... Probably not EV Train, because I'm pretty sure that would have probably KO'd me. But Poison Jab should be able to take down his... Abyss Kyogre. Which I completely keep forgetting about the uh, actual... Name of it, but oh well. Anyway, that's going to be enough to take down the Kyogre, which is nice. Give him the GG, but I'm going to leave it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to comment, leave a comment if you want to see more. Project Pokemon, not other games on Roblox, and like always, I'll see you guys next time.